Hi everyone, my name is Axel Kylander. I've been a part-time lumberjack, published author and poet, one-time grave digger, and constant student. I'm currently studying communications at Anoka Ramsey Community College in Cambridge, and this year I've had the pleasure of serving as my campus's student senate president and serving the entire state as platform committee student at large, while also holding a variety of other committee positions throughout LEADMN and the Minnesota state system. When I'm not doing those things, I love to spend time with my friends. I love to read and write and fall down video game rabbit holes that are definitely not good for my homework and thrift more than is probably wise for my wallet. In answer to question one, I would say the main way I've empowered student voices this past year has been through my empathy, through being right there in the thick of things with my peers every step of the way this year. Leadership is about service and human connection, and I've tried to model that at every level of my involvement from reforming the culture of my campus as Senate to one of inclusion and self-discovery, to sitting with people in those quiet moments between workshops when this is all new and intimidating or things get overwhelming. I believe in leading by example, and I've tried to do that by being very open about the depths of my own struggles and encouraging people in telling their own stories and developing their skill and confidence as advocates. Lead Amen has been instrumental in helping me find my own voice, and I have loved trying to help other people find theirs. Question two is about, I think, one of the most important aspects of what we do. Lead Amen is a coalition. It's a coalition made out of the unique individual perspectives of every person watching this video. It's a coalition made out of the distinct campus communities we all come from, and it's founded in our shared dreams. In serving that with effective outreach, I think it's vital to have a effective two-way street of communication where people feel like there's transparency and accountability on my end, and they feel like they are informed and engaged in what's going on. Yes, that means emails, phone calls, campus visits, all the rest, but really I think it's about the, the climate we create through doing that. It's about making sure everyone at every degree of involvement feels like they can speak up, they can be involved, and um, really have a seat at the table as much as this one person that has the words vice president in front of their name. Question three uh, really prompts me to answer with a, qu with a question. How many shirt sleeves among us are hiding scarred arms? Here's one. How many sleepless nights have there been among us? Here are many. We shoulder an immense cost in going to college in search of a better life, and that leaves many of us unable or almost unable to live in the present. My top priority, if elected, is to combat the basic needs crisis among us. It's intolerable. I want expanded counseling departments on every single campus, ones that can equitably serve all their students. I want funding for the Hunger Free Campus Act. I want grant funding for transportation and housing and all the other costs of life we incur after paying hundreds and thousands for textbooks and tuition. And in all those grand plans, if there's only one thing I accomplish, it must be to fulfill my commitment of these past two years to see expanded mental health support for our community. Our lives are put on the line by stigma and by lack of resources. And for everything I've been through and overcome, everything I've seen others go through, it is my deepest determination to see that changed. When I announced my candidacy, I said, I believe in the transformative power of our work. I've seen that for myself. I've seen it for so many others. And in that spirit, I want to leave you with this, a summary of my findings from two years of passionate involvement and looking ahead and forward to a third. Give this work your fear and you will find courage. Give it your passion and you will find fulfillment. Give it your pain and you will find healing. Give it your hunger, your starvation, and we will find change. Give yourself to this, and we will keep making the world a better place. To be entrusted with the vice presidency would be the greatest honor of my life so far. For all you've already entrusted me with, for all the memories made along the way, I want to say to all of you, the people I've worked with for two years, the people I got to know this year, the people for who this is the first conference, Thank you for who you are and for what you make this organization.